What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Govee Glide Wall Lights. And if at any point during the video, if you want to check out these exact same lights, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. I do got you guys. Let's get into it. All right, so these are RGB ICs, which means that basically along the entire strip, unlike something like this right here, that all has the same color, this can have like orange there and green there. So it's got a lot of different stuff. And this is probably like a competitor to something like a nano leaf, but this is only 80 bucks. So let's go through it. So first you got a quick start guide, a user manual, which I think actually for this specific thing, we might actually use that. All right, then in the box we have, it looks like the different sections of it. Okay, so here is the section. It is kind of a gloss white. It's pretty light. It looks like that is the sticky back right on the back right there. And then it has the different connection places. So it looks like you just snap these into one another but overall it looks like it's gonna be cool okay so it looks like in the box you get six of the kind of long rgb pieces okay so in this box we got the power cable pretty basic one and then i think in this box we're probably gonna have the side connectors which it looks like you actually only get one which is actually i would have liked a little bit more of that and then here is the actual part that you connect it to so this part you snap them in. I think you probably just snap these in. Yeah, you just snap them in like that. Hopefully I can get this out. Yeah, okay, so they just snap together just like that. All right, so honestly, not too complex. You got six of them, one curved uh, connector, and then you get the power cable, which then plugs into this, which is the transmitter for like your phone, and that just plugs in to get power. So pretty basic overall. Comes pre-installed with the mounting mechanism, so it looks pretty easy. And this is the tab that I think you pull it out by. Uh, so that's actually, you can pull that out. Disassembly, or to take it off your wall. Okay, so the idea I'm having for this kind of setup right here is I'm gonna put one down here, then the connector, and then these are basically just gonna go along this section. So I'm actually gonna put these together just to check the length of them. So they literally just snap together like that. That's so cool and pretty seamless right there. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is plug in all of this. So that just goes right in there and that plugs in. And then I have my cable box right down here and then we are going to open that up and plug these in here. Okay, so now that we have that all plugged in, this is the part that is gonna be plugged in to the first initial light bar right there. Now you could use a level and everything like that, but I think we're probably just gonna wing it uh, and hope it goes well. But before we do this, let's try turning this thing on, at least this one piece. Okay, so I'm connecting it to this device. It was very easy to do so. Whoa, that is very, very bright. I'm gonna change the brightness. That's actually way brighter than I expected it to be. Wow, those are very vibrant colors. I'm actually really excited now. Okay, so first of all, it works as a segment. So one of these counts as three segments. So it seems like inside of it, I could have that one be purple, that one be red, and then that one be like a yellow or a green. And you can see it comes up like that. That's very, very cool. Yeah, that is so cool. And the gradient of this is like perfect. There's no like dim spots, dark spots. Okay, so now that that's all good, I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna start hooking this thing up. Hopefully I do this correctly. Okay, so I'm peeling this off right now. I might completely mess this up, but I kind of hope that I don't. And try to position this correctly. All right, now it's on the wall. Okay, so I think I'm probably actually supposed to first do this on the table. Okay, so you're supposed to install them backwards. That looks pretty straight, right? So then we put that one on, and then we take this one, and those just... I will say mounting these is a little bit stressful. It probably would have been easier if I already like squared it off first and like drew on the wall, but not gonna do that. The nice thing is, and I will say this because I've taken them off the walls to position them correctly. The way that these work is it's actually like a super strong Velcro. So these actually, like the sticky parts pull off quite easily. And then it's that super strong Velcro on the other side. Uh, so you can actually put these, like I'm renting this place, so you can rent a place and use these and not worry about them peeling the paint off. But when you mount them, you really have to shove them against the wall for that Velcro to really get in there. And there we go. There it is, all done up. It's a little bit crooked, uh, which I probably could fix, but I think it looks pretty good. Now let's plug this in and it's all plugged in just like that. Turn that on. Now it's only recognizing the first strip so far. So we click refresh light segment. That will then find all of them as you can see right there. And then it lights up like that. That is, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, let me turn off the first Govee light strip beneath the table. So right here, we're gonna select all 
then we can make this all red. So now it's all red or all orange or all green or blue, any color. So now let's actually play around with it and let's do, so look at that, that is so cool. All right, right off the bat, first the insulation process was pretty easy. Uh, and again, I did this in five minutes. If you guys wanted to take more time and really make this perfect, you obviously can definitely do that. Also, another tip that I would suggest is between the actual parts. So there's one right here, one right here, one right here, and they're more noticeable when you don't create the end of a color in the middle of them. So you can see here, the green is between the part that connects right here. Whereas the red right here ends with this one. So if I ended it right here, instead of right here, this would be a much more cohesive color, like right here, right here, right here, and right here. Those are much harder to see, especially from a distance away. And also I currently have them on a no gradient. So you can see here, I have them all selected different colors. And if I click gradient, look what it does. Now it blends the colors together. Uh, so you can now see before it was this red that you basically, it would stop right there. If I click gradient off, now it's just the red and then it's in orange. But if I click this, now it slowly fades in. That makes a huge difference. That's really cool that they have that installed. Also, you can have music. So if we click the music icon right here, every time it picks up noise, it'll do something like that. So, <laughs> kind of cool. You can also do scenes like forest, which will consistently change the color or like ocean. And again, this will like fade like blues and, and like you can see how that's very vibey. It's pretty cool. You can also do like a sunset glow, which I'm really digging that one. You can see how the red really moves. I actually really like that. Most of the times on RGBs, these look terrible, but you can see how vibey that looks. Also, I will say one of the best colors is like those deep reds uh, because it really is very like, I don't know, the ambience of it, the reds, the oranges, those are some of the prettiest colors on this. You can also do something like a rainbow. So you can see that's like your very gamery vibe. You guys can see how this came. I'm actually blown away. This thing's like 80 bucks, I think. Let me check it. Okay, so 89.98, so 90 bucks for this, whereas you get some like a nano leaf, which is again, very different than this, uh, but similar in a way. The nano leaf's a lot more expensive, definitely a different thing. I wouldn't say this is a replacement for it, but this is a cheaper kind of way to get that really cool wall effect that really like upgrades a setup. Now, I also forgot to mention that this is completely compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Echo. So Alexa, turn off the glide. This is gonna do it. Alexa, turn on the glide. Boom, and it comes back on. Alexa, change glide to rainbow. And it's gonna change it to this crazy red. It's so cool, so easy like that. Alexa, change glide to red. And it's just like that. This, so cool, integrated with the Amazon or the Google Assistant. Wow, awesome. Back to the main clip. But let's keep going through the colors. So you got Aura right here, which is kind of that like unicorn look. I like it. The sunset glow is my favorite one. That one is really cool. And then again, you obviously have the DIY. You can create your own. If, or if you just want to go to color, again, you can select all of those and change them to a singular color if you want, uh, which does look pretty awesome. Uh, now, again, if you don't want all these colors, you click on the color wheel right here and you can do, you know, pick any of those colors. You can even pick like a, a white, which it actually looks like it does white really well, which normal RGBs do not do white. So let's actually try it. They have a cold white, kind of normal white, which it actually does it well. So if you wanted to like read uh, while you're not gaming or something like that, there is one light right there, show them. That is the one light in the room. Let's turn that off really quick. And there's just a little bit of light coming from the other room, but look at how bright this is. I mean, this is me next to it. This is probably the brightest RGB type stuff I've ever seen. So let's move it to a red. So cool, orange. Kind of like a green yellowy, a green, a blue. This is really cool. Guys, for 80 bucks, that's what's crazy. For eight, only 80 bucks. This is my, like, this is my favorite color for RGBs. This is really cool. Now let's actually turn on my other RGBs, which are Gobies. They are now on. It doesn't even look like they're on because this is so bright. Let me turn it off. This is what normal, like these are nice RGBs on this desk. This is with that off. These are good RGBs, these are bright RGBs. These are not like super cheap ones, but with this on, it like overpowers it so much. Uh, and that's a good thing. 
Guys, okay. But guys, for 80 or 90 bucks, these things are so cool. And if you want to upgrade your setup in a huge way, make it look amazing, these are really well worth it. And they're so easy to put on and take off without hurting the wall. Again, if you wanna check out the Govi wall glide, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. I do got you guys, but these things, wow. They actually blew me away. I was not expecting them to be that bright. It's like your own little neon setup type thing. It's so cool, guys. So freaking cool. This was Consumer Tech Review. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy tech reviews, other reviews, if you wanna see a Nano Leaf review, I'm also doing one of those very soon. This was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.